Welcome to Insurance Agent Training. Every Monday, I love being a part of this. I'm back and I want to talk right really quick about, we get a question a lot. Cody, if you had to start over as a brand new insurance agent today, what would you do? And I think my answer is going to surprise you because I'm not going to talk about captive or independent. I'm not going to talk about carriers. I'm not going to talk about commissions. I'm not going to even talk about product types because every new insurance agent is in a different place right now, right? You watch this right now and you're thinking, Cody, what would you do? I get this question a lot. If you had to start over, what would you do? If it was day one for you where you're a brand new agent, you were 30 days in, you were a month later, you were, you know what I mean? What would you do? And I think I would really, if I had to break it down into three steps, okay? of exactly what I would do as a brand new insurance agent as we release this live on Monday. Happy Labor Day, okay, thanks for being with us. What I wanna talk about really quick is the three quick steps, which is step number one, I'm not saying you gotta buy them, but dang, you need leads. Leads are incredibly important because leads generate, if you're not lazy, they're supposed to generate activity. And I truly believe that activity is imperative to your success. As a brand new agent, if I had to go back, I don't know if there was much, I don't know if there was a lot I would change, but these are a couple things I would maybe change because of what I realize now, especially the last one that I'm gonna talk about, okay? That's the first thing, leads, activity, super important, okay? That's the first step. Step two, if I had to go back and be a brand new insurance agent right now today, step two, would be, you ready? Step two, I, I, I want you to realize that sits are king. Most people are focused on setting appointments and setting appointments is great, but sits are king. If you're a face-to-face -face agent, how, how, how am I doing on glare? If you're a face-to-face -face agent, you have to sit with prospects. The only reason I was successful, I made $117,361.13 my first eight months. And how I did it was I sat with 10 per week. I wasn't special. I wasn't extremely intelligent. I wasn't the best at building relationships. My product knowledge was probably subpar. My sales experience was extremely subpar, but what I focused on was sits or king. And when I talk about sits or king, I was super consistent, which is also extremely, extremely important. Most agents are not consistent enough. When you have leads and activity and you sit with prospects every week, 10 minimum. 12, 15, 16, 20, whatever the case is, we're thinking too small. The average insurance agent, if we had to do a poll across the entire country of that hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of insurance agents, what we would find out, what we would learn is that the average insurance agent sits, actually sits with one to two people a week only sits with one to two people a week, which is a freaking embarrassment for our industry. It's sad, it's ridiculous, and frankly, it's a joke, okay? So that's step number two, sits are king. Step number three, step number three, I would want to find ways to, as I spell it wrong, think bigger, okay? I'm not even gonna erase it, right? We're live, so it's up there. Hopefully you can read it, at least, I, at least you know what I said, right? Think bigger. You need to be thinking bigger. Most people think too small, and it's really easy to think too small. When I say think bigger, there's some keys to that, right? I always write down my goals every day. It's imperative. If you don't have a goal, there's people in our industry that say goals are stupid, I'm telling you, they will never reach their true potential. Not even close, okay? First step goals, under think bigger. The next thing is you need 
some type of mentor in your life that you can learn from every single week. Someone to hold you accountable. Someone to help you get to the next level. Someone to challenge you. Someone to stretch you. Someone to push you to do more tomorrow than you're doing today, okay? Or today than you did yesterday, okay? But also, you need to focus on learning. The couple things, there was, there was, there's a few things I did really well. I thought bigger than most new agents as a brand new insurance agent, and I didn't realize it was that important at the time. I didn't, it wasn't like I knew. I did a lot of really good things back then without really knowing why. And I look back now and I'm like, that paid off, okay? One was goals, other was mentors, right? Learned a ton from my father. I had a goal, 100K my first year, boom. Wrote it down, signed it, put it up in my cubicle every day. I looked at it, I thought about it, that's all I thought about. But then also I was learning. The art of closing the sale by Brian Tracy. I was going, I was paying to go to conferences and events and training and sales training and learning. I was doing everything I could, Wildman, etc. Everything I could to learn and consume knowledge and to really think about how do I get to another level. So when we talk about insurance agent training, when we talk about throwback, when we talk about being live on a holiday, I want to think what would I do if I had to start over as a new agent right now? And all I can say is these are the three steps that kind of got me through that I didn't really realize it then like I realize it now. Okay, I'm not saying I would change a thing that I did, because I wouldn't. But activity breeds sits, sits breeds cells, and when you think bigger, you'll challenge yourself to not just be the typical insurance agent that thinks 50K is okay, right? Average insurance agent makes about $47,000, $48,000 a year. That's something I've read over the last few years. I don't know if it's statistically perfect, right? 72% of statistics are made up, right, Dylan? Most people are not challenging themselves enough. So when we sit here, live on a Monday, talk about insurance agent training and how you can do it and what I would do. And if I had to talk to my brand new self at 19 back then, these are the things I want to think about. But I want to challenge you to be super consistent as you grow. Okay? So I'm going to let you get back to your holiday. I want to challenge you to think about this stuff. What I would do if I was a brand new insurance agent today. Thanks for watching insurance agent training. Have a great week. So we'll talk to you for phone feed on tomorrow. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate you.